And also, let's say, let's go back into the trophic level, okay? Let's start from the beginning. You see all these plants? They're all producers and also just help, they help sustain life with the decomposers along with the decomposers. But if you get rid of the producers, you're getting rid of the species too. You're not just getting rid of everything else, you're getting rid of the animals. So less and less higher, food, higher up the food chain animals will damage, um, will get eaten. Oh shoot! Trophic structures. You remove one, the whole thing falls down. Back to you, Anson. So let's say the f let's say that there's a little mouse over here. There's a lot of mouses and rainforests and a lot of toads and salamanders and such. Let's say if an animal was eating this this blade of grass. No, these these little things right here. These wild berries or acorns. Let's say if they're eating this. And if the tree gone, if the tree goes away. We don't have any more little mouses, and that mouse, which was feeding a higher animal, let's say a warthog or something like that, um, that was eating that, and this will be less and less of these little poor mouses, and that will affect the warthog, which will affect the tiger, because the tiger eats the warthog, because it's tertiary, co comparative to the second, second primary level, and that's what also do. And also what's affecting is the orangutans. The orangutans usually spend a lot of time in the trees. They spend a lot of time in the tree. And if you deforest the trees, they can't anywhere string. They can't swing anywhere. And also they're getting rid of the fruit. Which the fruit is the hardy for soul, you know, nature's candy. And as we walk, walk around, we'll just say the orangutan. And also a very, very um, unique species uh, Sumatra forest is the rhino. It's the rhino. Um, there's, a, there's a rhino in Indonesia. It's really crazy. But it's really rare to find them and they're really in danger now because with the deforestation, um, pe they have nowhere to go. They can't any go anywhere with food. They can't find food. And also when they go into, let's say, the coffee bean plants and they get shot right away because the farmers and everything, they think that they're trying to you know, mess up their crops, so they shoot them, along with also the gorillas too. The gorillas are also a native species to Sumatra Island, and they're hunting in, and they're putting traps up and everywhere near the forests, you know, where the forest meets the farm area. They're putting traps all along there, and the sad part is they really have no use for the, the gorillas. Unlike, they don't use them for eating, they don't use them for skinning or anything like that. They just have traps set up everywhere in Sumatra just to kill big game animals for no reason, like the gorilla. It just, it just gets there, and then I saw a photo, there was pictures of photos on, um, let's say, websites of them just lying there with their traps dead, and they're just looking because there's no use for them. They're just gonna let them decompose, which that species is already endangered already, and this is really bad. And also, there's also the elephants. Elephants, there's a native elephants to Sumatra Island where they're um, really big husks. They're not like African elephants. They're little smaller elephants. They're compact, if you want to say that. And they're so endangered. Um, about um, 15 years ago, there was about um, 500 of them, more than 500 of elephants. Now there's about, let's give or take, about 100. So now you can see the dramatic change in differences. Also, just not losing the rainforest, cutting their shade and their moisture and the humidity and everything and just dying off. I'm Hannah Dustin, also reporting from Sumatra. Large areas of Indonesian lowland forests are being cut down to make way for coffee plantations. Land cleared coffee production increased 28% in Lamplong alone in the years between 1996 and 2001. About 70% of the Lamplong coffee production occurs inside the and adjacent to the Bucket, Barrison, Flectum, National Park, uh, one of the few remaining strongholds of the Sumatran Tigers, orangutans, and rhinoceros. The population of these animals are declining due to the loss of their natural home. Deforestation rates are directly related to the price of coffee paid to the farmers. Coffee consumption in the U.S. averaged 4.2 kilograms in 2001. That same year, Britain imported 10,000 tons of this cheap, robusta coffee from Indonesia. Indonesia has plans, announced plans to uh, export these robusta beans as part of their uh, rural development program. I'm Hannah Dustin reporting live from Sumatra.
Hey, look what I found, a souvenir. Oh wait, is that a tiger? <laughs> so what's being done about deforestation? You know, these companies taking responsibility for their part. Hello, I'm Robert. Um, and a first for, for the coffee industry, 